Okay. We'll see how that sounds later. <laughs> going to be great. <laughs> Shoot it. Shoot it. Okay. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> That's how we start off the Halloween Madness. So shut up. Halloween Madness. Halloween. This is twelve. This is this is a mega edition because we have everybody. Ooh. We've got Kendall. Yeah. Hi. We've got Zudi. Hey, what's up? We got Fetty. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and we have me. So Hello, Max. Uh, don't don't. Max. <laughs> Max. Don't don't do that to me. Carry the pudding. So. I'm going to I'm going to read a story, okay? Ooh. Is it yeah. like the lightning story I read? It's somewhat like that. Oh, I'm going to like this. Okay. Are we all, are we all ready? Are we all good? I suppose. Mm. Yes. I'm all, I'm all. all right. Yes. 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 Can you let other people talk? No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, who wants me to do this in a British accent? I, I want do. you to do it in a Swahili. I don't know <laughs> that. <laughs> Big name. Jamaican. Oh, I can't do that. Come on, just let me do British. Hey, yeah, man. <laughs> Berkan. Controversy. I'm going to cook up some Berkan. Okay. Hey, no, no, no. Do it. Do it in your 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 GTA voice. God. My Nico Bellic. Yeah, yeah do Nico. do your do your Roman. Max just do his Roman. Yeah, do your Roman. I'm just going to read it. <laughs> oh, <Okay>. you're no <laughs> fun. Hey, you blew it. Hey, you you blew Okay, you know what? Never mind. She commandeered the room in the basement of her dorm as soon as she realized she would have to pull an all-nighter in order to prepare for tomorrow's final exam. <gasps> Penis. Her roommate, Jenna. <laughs> Jenna. Lesbos. <laughs> like, Lesbos. <laughs> liked to go to bed early. So she... What? So she packed. So she packed up everything she thought she would need and went downstairs to study. And study. And study some more. It actually says that. Really? Wow. Nobody studies that much. Yep. It Facebook. was two. It, come on. It was two <laughs> o'clock. <laughs> Max, I thought you weren't going to do an impersonation of something. So why are you so like a dickhead? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh! I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll allow that because that was well crafted. <laughs> okay. It was two o'clock when she realized that she left one of the textbooks downstairs on her bed. <clears throat> oh no, that's not with, good. With a dramatic sigh, <gasps> she she rose and climbed the stairs slowly to a third floor dorm room. The lights were dim in the long hallway, and the old boards creaked under the weary tread. She reached. She reached. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, she reached her room and turned the handle as softly as she could, pushing the door open just enough to slip inside. So that That's who, oh, I I know that feeling. So that the <laughs> so That's that the door. <laughs> God, <laughs> so that the whole lights wouldn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> Uh, that's the noise that happens in amnesia when Daniel's scared really badly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. So the whole oh, that lights, game. So she didn't want the lights to wake her roommate, so she creeped in there. Okay, we get that. Mm -hmm. The room was filled with a strange metallic smell. She frowned a bit, her arms breaking out into chills. There Penis. <laughs> she has a radar or something going on there? <laughs> Oh, I thought you were gonna like put that before chills, like or replace <laughs> it with chills. Like her arms <laughs> broke out into penis. Ow. <laughs> I was thinking that she's like she has an alert system built in. Like there's one near. <laughs> I, can, I can smell him. <laughs> the room like was. An, <laughs> it's like an EKG meter. Where the <laughs> roof, where those things. I can taste. You got Dan Aykroyd behind you. Oh God. Making <laughs> quips. All I'd right. like that. I'd what like is Jenna X going to do? Okay, so... Um, uh, there was a strange feeling of malice in the room, as if a malevolent gaze were fixed upon her. It was his mind trick that all night it was catching up with her. <laughs> <laughs> Wink. She could hear Jenna breathing on the far side of the room, a heavy sound, almost as if she'd been running. 
Jenna must have picked up a co- uh, uh, mm, mm. Uh, Jenna uh, must uh. Jenna must have picked up a cold during okay, like a cold during the makes you, yeah, a cold makes you <laughs> yeah, pant. I got you, I got you. The, la- <laughs> the last tense week before finals. She crept along the wall until she reached her bed, groping among the covers for the stray history textbook. In the silence she could hear a steady drip 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 sound. Can I do that noise? I used to be able to do the drip like Oh. Ooh. <laughs> she sighed silently. Somebody sigh silently for me. <sighs> All right, you totally screw that up. <laughs> <laughs> Facilities not even going to sugarcoat that one. <laughs> Facilities would have to come to fix the sink in the bathroom again. 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 Her, yeah. finger, her fingers closed on the textbook. She picked it up softly and withdrew from the room as silently as she could. Relieved to be out of the room, she hurried back downstairs, collapsed onto an overstuffed chair, and studied until six o'clock. Six o'clock. She finally decided that enough was enough. If she slipped upstairs now, she could get a couple hours sleep before the <laughs> nine o'clock exam. You're kind of going into Billy D. Williams there. <laughs> It was. It, I was trying to straddle like Charlton Heston, and I was like, "Nah." Well, hello there. <laughs> hello. That there. blast came from the Death Star. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> <laughs> the first of the sun rays were beaming through the windows as she slowly slid the door open, hoping not to awaken Jenna. Her nose was met by an earthy metallic smell. A second blood. before her, it's blood. Spoiler alert: blood. What girl? What girl? It's a bunch of spoons. <laughs> it's a bunch of spoons. <laughs> Some <laughs> okay. Don't discriminate. What about forks and knives? And what sports. smells like metal and drips? Blood and that other Terminator from the second film. How do you know he smelled, bro? Well, because he... I don't know. He just assumed... Maybe, maybe Jenna is smelting iron. And it was <laughs> dripping. She's making swords? She's making iron bracelets. <laughs> And gauntlets. All right, she's, don't be. St- she's peddling medieval weapons out the back <laughs> to pay for her college. <laughs> yeah. Uh, metallic smell a second later before her eyes registered the scene in her dorm room. Jenna was spread eagled on top of her bed against the far wall. Her throat cut from ear to ear, and her nightdress stained with blood. Two drops of blood fell from the saturated blanket with the drip drip noise. She sounded. She sounded like Fossa heard the night before. Okay. <laughs> Screamed after scream poured from her mouth. She couldn't stop herself any more than she could seize the wringing of her hands. All along the way, doors slammed and footsteps came running down the passage. <clears throat> Within moments, other students had gathered in the doorway, and one of her friends gripped her arm with a shaking hand pointed at a trembling finger toward the wall. Her eyes widened in shock as she saw... Then she Get fain- some Tampax! Wait, okay. wait, wait. It's six in the morning and students rush after a scream that fast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're, either, they're either drunk or so far, like, deep in sleep that no one would respond to a scream. Are you done hating on everything? Why would one scream? <laughs> you hear a scream in the dorms, you fucking get out of bed, you crash open the door, and you run down the hallway? That doesn't happen. It's six in the morning. Kendall, you what? know what I would do. What would you do, Max? Leave the premises. <laughs> like a ghost, you freaking you beast. I'd jump out the window, even if it's like the fourth floor, I don't give a oh, shit. Oh, problems that might be involving me, I'm gone. Kendall can, <laughs> yeah. a, Kendall can attest that I'm quick on the escape. <laughs> Time to beat feet yet again into a new fucking state. Oh, here comes the heat? Well, I'm gone. Bye, guys. <laughs> Where'd Max go? I'm the Flash, man. He's See across town. In the funny pages. <laughs> anyway, let me finish this thing, boys. Uh, mm-hmm. All right. Well, oh. they need. It's obvious where the story's gonna go now. They brought some Tampax and they had a fun magical <laughs> tea party. The end. Well, not quite. Oh. Within moments, the other students got in the doorway, gripped her arm, and one pointed uh, toward the wall. Her eyes widened in shock as what she saw. She fainted into her friend's arms. On the wall above her bed, written in the roommate's blood, were the words, "Aren't you glad you turned? Aren't you glad <laughs> you didn't <laughs> turn on the light?" Numb. Uh. Kind Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? <laughs> <laughs> Red uh, rub. Red <laughs> rub. So that, that, that's a pretty good one. Earn this. <laughs> I like that one. Now, Fatty. I don't know. Is, is that is, that time? We're, we're, we're not going to divulge what this video is. Ooh, but no. 
We it's are... definitely not two girls, one cup. Uh, but that'd be better than this. It was on TV. <laughs> you know, it was on TV. Okay, at one everybody, point, so... I've seen it on TV. Okay, Fetty, there you go. Let's just be silent for a minute. Uh, In memoriam. Don't just... worry about dead time. I can cut it out. So you sent it to me right now, and that is I, that is the the, the, that the is genuine it. That article. Is that is it. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh new world. We're okay for people who haven't figured this out. We're sending Fetty a link to a creepy video, and we're hearing his genuine reaction. Here we yes. go. Yes. Oh no. Silence. Let's hear it. Ooh, what the hell? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, twirl that umbrella. <laughs> Holy I didn't shit. anticipate he'd have a hard on for this. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. Oh, I guess no. Canada's different. <laughs> oh god. That was before I saw the zoom in on her face. <laughs> oh. Oh. Man, she's got some pretty good dancing feet. Oh god. <laughs> no. Oh Fetty. Oh Fetty. Oh, Poor tortured geez. soul. It really, and you're making fun of it, Fetty. <laughs> why? Are you still watching it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> I get creeped out that I can't watch more than like ten seconds. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> Fetty's just like, give me more. He's just cracking open the, like a bottle of maple syrup and just fucking chugging it. <laughs> okay, I watched. A I've minute. seen that's, sicker that's shit in the woods. Second. You know, I'm not having any effects now, but I bet you that's, I'm totally gonna feel that in a couple that's, hours. You think that's gonna come back on you like, when you're all alone like, and asleep? <laughs> oh yeah. What if you're sleeping and there's this really loud pounding, oh, like noise on your door? <laughs> no, it's gonna be more of like an awkward shuffle first, like a. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Oh. Well, there's a there's a window in my room that's about yeah two it, and a half cardboard feet boxes long and I would I would be out that fast. <laughs> and for the sake of argument, Fetty has blinds so we can see a shadow pass in front of oh, his window. Oh, God. Good God! <laughs> Trying to stare through. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. This I is America. I leave lots of loaded guns around my room just for that reason. <laughs> I was surprised that Fetty could hang in there that long. Go cool. send it on to hell, man. Man, <laughs> send Fetty after it. He don't care. <laughs> <laughs> man, that was, that was Fetty's a bloodhound. Yeah. You know what? <gasps> <gasps> so I, I got another one. Yeah. Uh, I actually I haven't pre-read uh, wait, this one. Oh, a story. Okay, I think yeah. it's another creepy ass video you're gonna send me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't Lucky pre-read this one, so <laughs> so this one might suck. It might be awesome. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, if there's ever like a creepy alien invasion, go to Canada. They'll save us. <laughs> yeah, they just don't care. <laughs> just pour maple syrup on it. There you go. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! Slow it down. <laughs> You've incapacitated. Incat- <laughs> really, <laughs> really though. Bless her soul, but it's kind of scary to watch. I can't, yeah. I yeah. can't deny. I feel for her. So anyway, uh, right, right here. this one's called uh, Dispatched. Oh god. Okay. Oh, I've read this one. Well, don't blow it. God. It's about Chuck E. Cheese. You know what? E- hey, do you know what the E in Chuck E. Cheese stands for? Yes. Uh. Kendall, don't blow it. Oh. Uh. Earl. Betty. Ch- Chuck Earl Cheese. <laughs> no, it stands for entertainment. Uh, and en- entertainment. Yep. Chuck Entertainment Cheese. Yep. What an asshole. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway. What an asshole. <laughs> like how up on himself was he? Uh, so this, I'm just gonna start again. Who, who, wa- anybody want an accent that's British? <laughs> <laughs> You're really pushing that, aren't you? I really am. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look up uh, horror stories. Well, uh, you know the Chuck only e. reason why I know that is because I watched the uh, the How to Be a Chuck E. Cheese Character Guide on YouTube, and it's at the <laughs> beginning of that. I don't know why I watched all 23 minutes of that video, but it kind of scarred me because it's like, now you may want to take pictures with the kids, but that is inappropriate. <laughs> I'm like, uh, oh man, there's designated photo spots that you can take pictures at though. I'm like, uh, okay. I don't, I don't want to. Oh, you know it. what I heard the other day, guys? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it was the first ever doll cylinder voice box created by Thomas Edison. Oh wow! So creepy. Whew. 
So freaking creepy. If I could find that, I'll send it to you later. Because that was frightening. Anyway, I'm Zudi, you're looking for a story? I'm looking at horror stories by Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm going to start in on this one while you're doing that. There was something old in the tone of the dispatcher's voice when he called to me a person needed picking up in Bramlett Road late one summer night, 1947. 1947. I shuddered when I heard the name of the street. I did not want to go anywhere near that area, especially at midnight. It's the ghetto! Stop! But I drove a yellow cab, and it was my job to pick up a car when it came. Oh, how honorable. That's why you bypass blacks and poor people. So... I swallowed and headed toward Bramlett Road and the Slaughter Yards. <coughs> That's great. Slaughter Yards. I wonder what they do there. Make make pots and things, I, I'm, I'm sure. I'd been out of town when the incident happened. I call it an incident, but it was a murder. <sighs> Plain and not so simple. It was the butler. Candle Just saying. Candlestick in the eye? S what? Yeah. What's that mean? It means somebody killed a guy with a candlestick in his eye. <laughs> oh. You? I, th I thought it was, you were playing along with the whole clue game. I said it was the I butler. was, and then you were like, what? Okay. A fellow, named, a, a fellow named of Brown <laughs> who drove a cab with our company was robbed and stabbed to death in his cab. Okay, <laughs> next, the next okay that's fake. All cabbies carry guns. That's like a fact. This is 1947. They didn't have guns yet. They had bows and arrows and stuff. <laughs> He had a he had a vest. <laughs> How did they fight World War Two? They that was that was sorcery. Next day, a man <laughs> named Willie Earl was picked up by the police, and the very next day put in jail for a crime. Though I have a gun from nineteen. Can I finish? <laughs> no. Though he denies doing it. <laughs> then a bunch of hotheads who drove the cab's drug company gathered together, passed around a bottle of whiskey, Zooty, and talking about oh. getting <laughs> the fellow who stabbed Brown. One of the men went out and borrowed a shotgun. And the mob drove to the jail, grabbed Earl, and threw him in the back of one of the cabs. The hotheads took him to the slaughter yards, and they dragged Earl forcibly from the cab and started beating him. A man pulled a knife and waded into the mob with it. Earl shouted, Lord, you've killed me! That's when with the fellow with the shotgun put a bullet in his head. Reloaded and shot him twice more. Okay. This kind of sounds like the intro to RoboCop. <laughs> it really does, doesn't it? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> when the mob was sure he was dead, they climbed back into the separate cabs and fanned out, each heading back to the city by a different route. Eventually, word got out and 31 fellows were arrested for the crime, but they were all acquitted by jury of their peers. All right, scrolling down. After the incident, the slaughterhouse section of Bramlett Road got a bad reputation. No one in the cab company much liked driving there, especially at night. Folks claimed it was haunted by the ghost of Willie Earl. I shivered as I pulled onto Bramlett Road and slowed down to look for my passenger. Okay, no first of all, how how intimidating is a ghost named Willie? Watch out, guys! Willie the ghost is here! What if his, name, what if his name was Willie McTouch? <laughs> 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 don't, you don't earn the title Touch for nothing, son. <laughs> Admiral Touch, the alien that stalks me in the night. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> this guy pulled in to Bramlett Rose, slowed down, looked for his passenger. No one was there. I parked the cab and got out to have a quick smoke while I waited. All at once, the temperature around me plummeted. I froze in place, suddenly terrified. As someone moaned in terror from the other side of the road, the sound scraped my nerves raw. Bleah! I could hear the unmistakable thud of hammering fists and the darkness was filled with the swirling black silhouettes pounding on something, or someone. I fumbled for the icy cold handle as a man shouted agony, Lord, you killed me! I threw myself inside the cab as a gun exploded, cutting off the man's cries. The shot was swiftly followed by two more. I squealed the tires as I spun the cab around, a tall battered figure that glowed just enough for me to see it, its lolling head. Lol. <laughs> uh, the blood stained dead features. The knife tore closed back in the back in front of me. I gasped. Somebody do the gasp. <gasps> Alright, good. That was solid. Floored the gas pedal and swerved around it. Hot hammering so hard it hurt my ribs. I was still trembling 
when slammed into the office a few minutes later and told the dispatcher I was quitting. Then I grabbed my things and headed for home lickety split. There was no way I was going back to Bramlett Road ever again, and I never did. <laughs> Gay. <laughs> Gay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds All like right. he was from the French connection. Oof. <laughs> Uh, what? <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. Fetty? What? Is the French influence strong where you're at? Um, not where I am living, but... but some parts of Canada, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Or Quebec. There's, a, there's like a community. <clears throat> okay, Fetty, Fetty. Yes? Is the influence of Ents strong where you're at? Very. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> uh... So Zudi, did you find anything? Man. Yeah. I was just I was just thinking what the what Canadian ends sound like. <laughs> <laughs> we have just agreed, eh? Maple syrup for everyone now. I was trying to think of a good end joke, but I can't. My home is deep in the forest near the roots of the mountains. Hey. Saskatchewan. <laughs> <laughs> that actually sounds pretty good. My people are a proud nation. Eh? Hey. Hey. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All I got right. some Chuck. I got to some Canada sh- from America by choice. Hey. So what do you got? What do you got, Zudi? Karen Hobbits. Um. First of all, here's a picture that uh, just creeps me out of old Chuck E. Cheese. But I have some um little stories of true stories. Oh, right. of That's Chuck how you know you're gonna get raped. See, look, Chucky. E. Oh, has good a top lord. Hat. See, look. Yeah. At- why oh, is the Confederate flag up with the state flags? <laughs> <laughs> do you see the Confederate flag? Yeah, I do. Yeah. What the fuck? And, it ca- and the creepy United statue to the left of it? United yeah. States flag, California state flag, and Confederate flag. What the fuck? All right. And see, and see Chuck E. Cheese has the, the top hat, and we already de- determined what that means. Yeah. He's going to rape you with his tail while that dog guy with the, the corn hat plays a banjo and watches. Don't make you feel good. <laughs> All right, what do you got, Zudi? Okay. <clears throat> These are some little horror stories from a man who made it out alive of a Chuck E. Cheese. Nice. <laughs> he used to work there. On my last day of work, a little kid came up to me and said, Mister, Mister, somebody pooped in the tubes. And it's smeared everywhere. Oh, God. I said, thanks for letting me know, and kept on sweeping. A then a suburban job. mom came up. <laughs> Punched that little dick in his head. Yeah, and then, <laughs> it, <laughs> no. Hey, kid, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. All right, Zuddy, come on. Broke the fucking broom right over the kid's head. No, then a suburban <laughs> mom... Up on the side of his head me. like it splits. <laughs> Took and a the, shot at Jack the, Daniels and split him across the head. <laughs> the yeah. broken end of the stick knocks a bunch of stuff <laughs> off of the table. <laughs> okay, what do you got? Right dude? in front of his family. Knocks yeah. the birthday hat clear across the room. Okay, let's let's let him tell this. Okay. There's okay. there's 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 blood all over the the, the fucking plastic balls. Uh, no. Um, let me see. I lost my fucking place. And then suburban mom came up and told me the same thing. I realized at this point that as the lowest on the totem pole, I couldn't tell anyone else to clean it. And if I told the manager, he'd just have me do it. So I ran to the costume room and got in the Chucky suit. I stayed in character for three hours. That was, that was his last day out to avoid the shit. Here's another thing. Want to know how they clean up vomit? And Chuck E. Cheese. So wait. I learned. Wait. You pu- <laughs> I learned to clean. Uh, I learned to clean up vomit. This is what you have to do. Okay. <laughs> you pour cotton candy crystals on it. It soaks up the puke, so you can just sweep it up, and it makes it smell like strawberry puke. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> is this going somewhere? Or are those the horror stories? These are some of the horror stories. No, <laughs> so like just at nasty work, shit. At work, we have that like uh, that powdery stuff that you see on buses, and we yeah. use that to clean up puke and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's it's pretty gross. Well, thank you, Zudi. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's about it. And he just says that watch, don't let your kids go in the ball pits because they're rarely cleaned, and when they do, you throw them in a net bag and they just go through a car wash. Oh, good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, thank you. <laughs> There's your tips on Chuck E. Cheese. Oh God. Uh, weather on the nines. 
places don't carry ball pits anymore. Yeah. I thought that okay. first story was going somewhere. Yeah, I yeah, did me too. too. And I then, wish it did, but <laughs> it, it is short. I skimmed this. Well, I got a, uh, I got one. It's shorter. I haven't pre-read this one either. So, and this is a real one. So, Ooh. there's a tunnel under the railroad tracks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just to the west of Queen Elizabeth Way in Niagara Falls, Mr. Racer. It is now locally. <laughs> <laughs> it is now Dolphin lo- shorts. <laughs> I wanted to go to Nam. <laughs> they wouldn't let me. I was too pretty. <laughs> <laughs> they said I had to be a dolphin short model instead. <laughs> uh, Damn okay. it. It is no locally as the Screaming Tunnel. Oh, that's great. A, isn't it? <laughs> a path, a path that's where the Boy Scouts hang out to have their socials. and. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally safe. You know that? It's totally safe. Do you know that? It's a name like that. A name like Smuckers. It's got to be good. I hate those commercials with the two little boys. <laughs> I hate those commercials. They're awful. Okay. Uh, a path wanders through the tunnel and then up to an empty field on the hill. But the field was not always empty. <laughs> at one time, a large farmhouse stood at the field at the top of the hill, and in it lived a happy family. Then one night, the house caught fire. A young daughter was trapped in the house, and the only way to escape was through a wall of flames. The brave young girl covered her face with her arms and ran and f- it ran through the fiery doorway. Her long hair and her long nightgown began to smolder as she burst through the flames and rushed out the house. A little bit of Australian going on here. I know. <laughs> like changing it around. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. When the night air struck her smoldering clothing, it burst into flames, developing the girl into a raging inferno. Wow, this went dark. No kidding. <laughs> or you could say it went bright. Oh. I saw the sun. Oh. I opened up my eyes in sunlight. <laughs> the girl screamed in agony and ran blindly down the hill, away from the fire-stricken house. She staggered into the tunnel under the train tracks, the screams echoing and re-echoing throughout the night. Flamethrower. Kurt Russell. Flamethrower, that bee. Kurt Russell. Bees love flamethrowers. Overcome by... There's no bee. I don't know what you're talking about. Bitches, man. Bitches. (laughs) Overcome by the flames, the girl fell out to the floor of the tunnel, wailing in agony. Like, like, oh. She she, she rode frantically on the floor of the tunnel, trying to douse the flames, but her efforts were weak and ineffective. She was quickly overcome, burned to death in the tunnel, not a good ending. <laughs> <laughs> After that night, everyone that dare strike a match in the tunnel under the tracks will hear the agonized death screams of the burning girl and ghostly wind clearly screaming out of the match. <laughs> All right. Also, I'd say I was. I'd say I was sorry for that joke, but I'm not. Hmm. <laughs> you proud of that? Not really. <laughs> I'm just not. Oh, I'm just not sorry for it. <laughs> it was. It was. It did fit pretty good. It was just really an ill taste. And then all yeah, the silence didn't make it any better. <laughs> hey guys. Yo, girl. I was literally <laughs> off mic for about forty seconds, killing three bugs. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow! These, these inch-long box elder bugs, and that was my own horror story right there. In that moment, in that moment, <laughs> you were Jack Black. <laughs> sure, you were the Kung Fu Panda, man. You were the Kung Fu Panda. Thanks. Oh. That's so nice. Skadoosh. So. Skadoosh. So uh, I think this is this has been okay. Banyos <laughs> in mi casa. Unless you had anything, Kendall? Well, I got a 15-inch sandwich. <laughs> what kind? Uh, meat. <laughs> 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 With some mayonnaise in there. Uh, that's, that's really childish of you to go that route, but okay. No, I actually do have a Subway sandwich here. That I've been Did you go to, to Subway and you were like, hey, give me meat sandwich? Yeah, that's what I tell them. Just like, hey, give me my meat sandwich. <laughs> you, worker, serve me meat sandwich now. You, who just got off of duty. 
Ah, duty. Make me sandwich. Meat, meat. Meat. Jesus. Lots of meat. Put meat. Ah, <laughs> oh, Christ! Put- this fucker's here again at Subway. <laughs> <laughs> they call me the Subway fiend. Uh, no, meat guy's I- back. I actually I'm like going that. on break. <laughs> All right. I'm going Every- on dead. Everybody, that was uh. Uh, Halloween madness. 2012. (laughs) Everyone say bye. Maybe. I'll (laughs) prompt you. (laughs) Zudi? Bye. Fatty? Bye. Oh, nice. Kennel? Uh, goodbye. Bye, everybody. Good night and Godspeed. Oh, what?